Hi, I'm James, and I'm with SelfSpark, and we connect you to tools for effective lifestyle change. So I'd like to start by getting some audience engagement. I'll ask you all to please stand. We're going to take a little bit of data right now. I'm going to ask you two questions, and if it applies to you, I want you to keep standing for yes, or I want you to sit down for no. So the first question is simple. I have made a New Year's resolution at least once in my life. If so, keep standing. If not, please sit. Most of us have. Okay. Second is I consistently reach my New Year's resolutions. If yes, please keep standing. If not, please sit. And be honest here. Okay. So I think we have a fairly universal pro problem here, but thank you so much. And this problem hits home as well. So I'm going to tell you the story about my mom, who was an extraordinary woman. Unfortunately, she started smoking when she was 14, and she tried her best to quit, but over the years, she just never could break the habit. And 38 years later, it caught up to her, and we lost her. The world lost her. And I think many of you in the audience have had this happen to you as well, or maybe you even see her story in your own life right now. So this is something we can, and we must change, and so we're doing it. Lifestyle change is complicated. If you try to fix your sleep problem, but you're still stuck at work late every night, it's quite tough. Or if you try to live that life of purpose, but you don't have the financial means to do so, it's quite hard. Everything is interconnected. So the fundamental problem is lifestyle change is overwhelming. It's really hard to know exactly what to do. It's hard to start doing what you need to do. And then it's hard to sustain the effort over time. So our event platform tackles all three at the same time. In our private beta, we've done 70 events in six cities for 650 people. So you can imagine each event as an experimental test where we try something new and see if it works. And we follow up with these people afterwards and look at those measurable outcomes. If we succeed, we publish. If we fail, we publish. That means anyone in this room, anywhere in the world can check our math and that keeps us quite honest. This is called open science, and it's very rarely done in the industry. So through this prototyping, we've come up with a solution to this problem. It's called the Spark Weekend. It's a fun, science-based event that's themed around a specific area like nutrition, or productivity, or relationships. And it's customized to different audiences, from individuals young to old, and public to, to corporate. So we've done these events, and they're designed to help you know what to do, to start doing it, and then to continue doing it over time. Day one is about learning. So 24 speakers are giving you 20-minute TED-style talks on a specific lifestyle change. Day two is about doing. You come back with your laptop, with your planner, and you implement what you learned the day before. Our team coaches you to do this, and we help you do things like set up gym memberships, or automate your finances for your retirement, or practice a new meditation. Whatever you most need to get done to change your life, we help you get it done. Our speakers are sourced locally, and they're vetted for scientific rigor. And they're, we're putting together a session that is fun, holistic, and practical throughout the whole day. What we do also is we test these speakers. We put them to the test. They're challenging each of you to do something specific, like meditate over 30 days, and then we follow up to see if you did it. And we publish that. So now the speaker actually is getting tested and they have a very strong incentive to do a really good job of helping you change. And what's important to me is that you're connected to the tools for change. So from a fork that helps you eat more mindfully to a nutritional drink that help, tries to replace food altogether or a headset that helps you do biofeedback at home. So these tools and others really help, if they're at your disposal, they really help with this process. And what's interesting is you can actually put money on the line to achieve your goal over 30 days. If you succeed, whatever you put in, you get back. If you fail, then whatever you put in you goes to a charity of your choice. And if you really want, you could do this with a group of trusted peers, with your friends, and set the same goals over a month, and tie, do the payout tied to the group success. So that way you're all motivated to help each other change over that period. This really helps with those sticky lifestyle change problems. And what's really exciting to me is that this has not been possible in the, in the past. Ten years ago, a company like Startup Weekend or Ignite could not exist. They're both Seattle-based. But they use social media and they use innovative 
inter internet technologies to actually scale rapidly. And we're seeing the same with SelfSpark already. And the reason why is because we have a really extraordinary team. So this team, uh, I'm, I'm leading it, and this is my seventh startup, five of which are still going. Uh, Oren is our science guy. He's got a PhD in positive psychology, which is a new field uh, focusing on human flourishing. And LJ and McLean are these amazing folks putting on our Seattle and Portland Spark Weekends. We also have an advisory board of 25 individuals, behavior change experts, who are guiding us along the way. So I'd like to invite each of you to join us right here in this room on January 4th and 5th to spark the change within you. If you change yourself, you change the world. And we firmly believe that everyone deserves a chance to change, including my mom. So I would like to remind anyone here who is perfect that if you don't need this, maybe you have a friend or two that could, and Christmas is right around the corner. Just saying. I'm going to give you a little bit of a flavor of what the Spark Weekend is like, so we'll show a little bit of footage right now. Looking at my whole life and all the different little bits of my life and um, thinking about where I need to take a screwdriver and kind of tweak it or tighten it up. Vibrant environment, uh, you know, a kind of meeting of minds of all kinds of exciting, inspiring and really innovative people. It's awesome to see people with so much passion come together in Singapore. Um, I love stuff about health and wellness and how to life hack your brains. Well, how to manage my own emotions better and how to become more creative because I want to get more out of life. Numerous, numerous types of inspiration in all shapes and forms. I really appreciate how they bounce off ideas of the speakers and vice versa. A lot of uh, creative thoughts happening. Short, succinct, but practical tips. Things like, um, how can I help here? So how can I help you now? So I'd like to close with a little bit more data. So I'd ask you all to please stand once more. This time, just one question. Putting aside your history with New Year's resolutions, who here wants to make a change in 2014? Please respond by clapping loudly if you do. Thank you so much for the standing ovation.